Tainted drugs bought and being used in the Gross Point communities. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Alan Campbell. And so far, two people have died. Three others have gotten seriously sick after ingesting what police believe is cocaine laced with fentanyl. Now, the fatal cases are just a few miles apart. One involving a father of three at a home on Lockmore Boulevard in Gross Point Woods and the other at a home on Beaconsfield Avenue in Gross Point Park. This is considered a fatal dose of fentanyl, the toxic opioid allegedly mixed with the coke currently out there on the street. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner joins us live now with the very latest on this one. Jim. Carolyn, the director of the Woods Public Safety tells me this could end up in criminal charges. They are working to establish if five people in two of the Gross Point communities are connected to the same cocaine. Take a look at the house here in Gross Point Woods where this happened. Can you talk to us about what happened? No, we can't. Why not? Police say a babysitter and kids were here when four overdosed inside this house on Lockmore. It, it'll help to save other people, won't it? Illegal drugs are illegal for a reason. They're dangerous. Police say the Coke party included three men and a woman ranging in age from 19 to 37. The people that are out there doing that are just putting themselves at risk. The chief of public safety in Gross Point Park says a 32-year-old man died in his home on Beaconsfield and it may be connected to the same cocaine that was used in the woods. Michigan State Police are testing what police were able to obtain. The Wayne County Medical Examiner performed two autopsies and is awaiting toxicology. Between Gross Point Woods and ourselves, uh, uh, things are being tested at this time in the labs and at the coroner's office to see exactly what the cause of deaths are uh, and uh, what was in the um, drugs that they, they had taken. This is the last picture of 37-year-old Gerald Champagne alive last Saturday. He played golf with his friend Alex Berry, who tells 7 Action News, Jared battled demons within, but his life was transforming in the best ways regarding his relationships and career in commercial real estate. Learning he died later this day, he said, one of the most traumatic experiences he's ever had. This GoFundMe page has been set up for his family. This day and age with the uh, amount of fentanyl that's been used in different heroin, cocaine, and other things that, you know, we would advise people, obviously, not to do drugs. Now, police say the supplier and the users are part of this investigation. Police will not reveal if the people who overdosed and survived are cooperating. I can tell you, with the two deaths involved and the testing of all of this cocaine, if they can link everything together, this case will move forward. By the way, the director of public safety here, when I asked how many cases of cocaine do they have, criminal cases within the last year and a half, he says about a dozen here in Gross Point Woods. Reporting live, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Jim, for the live report.